Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, just here to give you my thoughts on the PDW. Uh, I realized I said in my first video that I didn't really like it that much. I'd only really played um, one game with it. And then I saw uh, Optic Scumpy uh, make a video. And he was like, oh, the PDW is a great gun. Let's try it out. And um, so I went back, and this is my first game actually like, using it with actual attachments on it. And I, I believe I have the laser sight and the... Um, Hard point identified. The reticle, like the red dot, whatever it's called, reflex, I think. And um, I, I really, really actually like this gun. 50 bullets, like that's a lot. And um, they do a good amount of damage too, so you're not even like using a half a clip on a guy. You can get like a good five kills at least with a clip. It's pretty legit, especially if you're playing an objective-based game type. I like hard point, like I'm playing here, where uh, you need to mow down a lot of people quickly. I actually, um, I actually had a better game, the game after this, when I had finally unlocked the silencer for it. And I did the uh, silencer in the laser sight, just like he had done. And I think I was like 33 and 5 or something like that. But um, I was already rendering this video, so I didn't have my capture card off so that it would uh, go quicker. And um, So yeah, you guys are stuck with this gameplay. It's not that bad, but it's, um, it's decent. I think it was like 16 and 4, 6, 19 and 6, something like that, somewhere around there. But, um, yeah, I really, really like this gun. Puts a lot of ammo downrange quickly. Uh... The sights are really nice on it. I did like the sights on it uh, originally, but I just, I don't know, I, I must have had a bad game with it, bad half game, whatever I did. But, um, yeah, I, I do really, really like this gun. And um, I'm liking the store score streaks better than I thought I would. They really, really do reward you for playing the objective. And uh, I feel like that's something that's been missing from every other Call of Duty. Like, I've been a couple times, like I said in my first video, I'm the only person on my team going for the hard point. That wasn't the case in this game. I uh, my whole team, we were all jumping on it. We were all to the point where the other team just gave up and started just shooting at the end of the game. They wouldn't even go near the hard points because they were just getting thoroughly dominated. But, um, you get the, if you get the initial hard point and then, like, one kill defending the hard point, you get basically your first level kill streak. And, um, that's, that's pretty cool. And I, if you let them get it first and then take it over, I think you actually get more points, which is weird because you think they'd reward you for getting there first, but you, like, get a point for contesting it or something, maybe, and then you get points for killing him while he owns the hard point and then taking it over. So you get, like, three or four different, um, things popping up at the same time, giving you points, unlocking score streaks. And, I. Uh, I actually, um, next game, I, I don't think it's in this video, I actually got the the Dragonfly. I don't know, I, was, I didn't know how to control it at all at first, so I, I don't even think I got a kill with it. I think I got two kills. But on um, that Hunter drone, it's pretty cool how you just, like, unfold it and it circles the map and looks for someone and then dives down on them. But, um, yeah, the PDW, it's kind of like uh, the P90 from Call of Duty 4 with less recoil. It's a really, really good gun. Throw a silencer on it, like, it's... I like it a lot. You can shoot people from a fair distance away, too. It's not just, like, a close-up gun. So, um, I really think that you're going to see that a lot on the competitive scene because, uh, I know, like, the EGLs have outlawed the uh, EMAGs, but with that clip, it makes it... You don't even need EMAGs, you know what I mean? And, uh, it's just a really, really quality gun. I, I think I, like I said, jumped to judgment a little quickly the first time. But, um, I'm liking Hardpoint, the King of the Hill, like, Halo-type game type that they put in here. And it's really, it's really cool. I like how it's not, like, headquarters, you can't just capture it and then run away and defend it from, like, across the map, basically. Just throw it on, like, a Claymore or something. And uh, how you actually have to be in the hard point. And some of them are actually pretty, pretty small. And other ones are other bigger. But uh, the smaller ones really get some intense close range gunfights when um, when you're trying to either have it defend it or take it over. But yeah, I, I do really like this game. The um, the new game types are really, really fun. I, I think the. I haven't unlocked that uh, M8 yet. I used that gun back on like Rainbow Six Vegas, and that was a really cool gun there. So, um, and I know I saw a couple of developers saying that it's one of the uh, best guns in the game, so I'm really looking forward to unlocking that. I think I'm like t level 17, 18, 20 around there right now. And, um. I really. I think that's like a 40 something, 49 maybe. Maybe we'll unlock it. But I really, really can't wait to use that gun. And the select fire. 
uh, make it automatic. It's going to be really cool. I like how uh, any gun can be made to automatic or burst gun. So that's uh, that's a really cool feature they added this year. But um, yeah, basically PDW, if you haven't used it already, it's a really early unlock. I think it comes unlocked. And, um, or it's your like, very first one. I suggest absolutely making a class with, with it. Scumpy was dead on. That gun is an absolute beast. You should not like. You should not lose a gunfight at all, close range or even medium range with it. UAV I mean, I, I was I was shooting assault rifles with identified. it for medium range. Far range is a little different. You gotta work down the um, trigger, like tap it a little bit. But uh, it's a really really quality gun. It puts out, like I said, a lot of ammo. Puts it out of there quick. And, um, the accuracy seems pretty good on. It. I don't know exactly what the bars are because I don't have it in front of me, but um, I do really, really like this gun. So if you haven't given it a shot, guys, definitely. Um, I know a lot of people are saying, Sharp is saying he likes the MP7, but I feel like this gun can absolutely outshoot that MP7 from uh, Modern Warfare 3 almost even, and that gun didn't have any recoil. So definitely look out for this in competitive play. Pub matches, you know, you want to go in there and dominate a couple kids. Feel good about yourself. Definitely give this gun a look. It's really, really good. Like I said, big magazine, just absolutely tears through people, and uh, I'm really liking it so far, and uh, thanks to Scumpy for that, because I honestly wasn't going to use it again, I was going to stick with the uh, MP7, and then I had just unlocked the Vector, so the Vector is a pretty cool gun too, but this gun won me over, I, I used it like three straight maps, and it's, this is my first map with it, actually, um, with attachments, first time I should use it, like I said, it didn't have anything on it, and I was like, oh, this gun's not that great, but really like it now guys um let me know what you think of the video give me a like subscribe uh thanks peace